Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to No Man's Land. As promised, today we're going to be doing firewood. So we're going to start off by putting down a firewood cell point. I have not modified these, I didn't actually realise they were so cheap, I thought. I just, I don't know why, I had a feeling they were a lot more expensive. So I think this is a good place to do it, somewhere, you know, somewhere close to the main road. Maybe here is good. Yeah. Uh, can I drop it down? Whoops. I can. I can drop it down a bit. Right, so we'll do that. Perfect. So that cost us 10. Now, we're going to need to buy a couple of pallets. I don't know how many we're going to need. I'm going to take four. That might be too much. It might be fine. I really don't know. And of course, we need an axe. So now, everything else we need is going to be in the low, no, the low loader category. Is that the one? No, so it's in the trailer, I guess. We basically need a kind of a small flat trailer. What's the difference with these two? Oh, that one can fill, and that one can't. Well, that'll be fine. Plain boards, brown, grey, red, green. Okay, you get the idea. So plain boards, this looks old, so we're going to take it second hand. Alright, uh, can we change that? Oh, that's the room colour, okay. Can we change this? Yeah, I think we'll go with the grey. Right. So, that has now been bought. I was going to lease one. Actually, that works out quite well. So we're going to start with these trees over here, the ones just in front of us, because that will allow us to expand that field a bit more. We can take it right to the edge of this uh, lane, I guess it is. That'll be good. But for now, we need to get these in. And it looks like we can only do one at a time, but I'm not concerned about that, because it's not like we've got far to go get them. So let's uh, go over here. I guess, how do we, un do we just unfold? Yes, there we go. Ooh. When we do that, he likes to smash down. You know what? That was really stupid of me, wasn't it? I completely forgot to put a firewood pallet in the back. Oh wow, it's got tension belts. Cool. <coughs> yeah, I forgot to put a firewood pallet in the back of here. That would really help. So, just hop out. I'm hoping this is, yeah, it's good. It's light enough for me to pick it up. We definitely can't fit two, can we? Oh, actually, we could fit two if I leave the back down. Oops. So let's try and get this in. There we go. So now we can strap it down. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, it's the tipper that's on 89%. That's fine. I don't mind the tipper being on 89%. So this is obviously not the best way to do this, but it will work. So we'll come over here, and I suppose we'll just kind of park over here somewhere. Once again, this is going to mean more grass. We are going to have grass available for cutting. So, which way do I want it to go? I want it to go that way. That's the stump gone, perfect. I'm going to cut them all down, but I'm only going to do two at a time, I think. This lumberjack mod is really useful. Because it allows me to chainsaw the stumps, rather than having to get a stump grinder. Because I hate using stump grinders, and I'm not very good at using them. Right, 
there we go. So I think we can lift that up. Okay, that's good. I don't know how this guy is going to fill up when I do this. He's not filled much of that. Which is to be expected, I think. That's too heavy. Okay. That's still too heavy. That is liftable. I'm trying to get as much as possible out of each tree. Obviously, if you cut too close to the first part, the uh, to the end even, the tree vanishes. Which is really not realistic, but it's just how the game does it. Now, what's on sale? A Lemkin Titan. I want to know what that is. So, no, it's not here actually, it's in the sale. It's a big plow. All right. And in the classifieds, have we got anything? Oh, we could get ourselves a second tractor. But I don't think that's priority right now. And if we go into here, got anything useful in the tools? Not really. Right. Let's get this chopped up. Okay. So it is going to take us a while. We're going to have to do quite a lot of trees, I think. So this is going to, at some point, I'm going to have to do a jump cut. I'm not going to be able to time lapse the whole thing because it's horrible watching people time lapse forestry work. Or at least I find it is. I find I just get really dizzy watching them. So I wouldn't want you guys to watch a time lapse too much. A little bit is okay. We just need some really big trees, I suppose. None of these are that big. Those over there might be bigger. Okay. So, can we lift this guy? We can. Good. This one, yeah, as I expected, it's a no. We can lift that. There should be two pieces by here. There we go. Right. What I'm going to do is very quickly get all of these trees cut down. And I'll take all the logs over here. And we can chop them up and see exactly what we've got left. So I'll see you in a moment. The trees are gone. It's looking a lot more open now got to get rid of these hedges. Still obviously many 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 trees all around the place and we've got this giant pile of wood now that we need to chop up. So this is going to take a while I expect. And uh, yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take. We're just going to keep chopping and see what happens I think. Annoyingly we're filling up both of the firewood um, pallets at once. Now I was planning on filling up both of them. In fact, I was planning on filling up all four if I could. But even still, this is a little annoying. Well, at least we are filling up. They only need to be 50% full to sell them, apparently. I think we're going to have to plant some trees though. Maybe we can use the, the hand plant sapling mod and we can plant some trees that we can then later on chop up and turn into firewood. Because we're not using seasons. Wow. Yes, I think this is because I'm filling up the back one too quickly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, look at this. This is the dancing firewood pallets.
<laughs> what on earth is going on? Fantastic. And I guess it's just going to keep doing this until I fill up the first one properly. So is that all the wood gone? It is, yeah. And I think that pallet is now full. Let's... We're going to try. I don't know how well it's going to work. Let's try and drive somewhere. And get some more... Tree. Oh, he settled himself down. So it appears it's just because it's too heavy. Yeah, we're, we're driving very slowly now. So we are going to chop down these two trees in the middle of the field. Because we need to. So let's get it chopped. I'll get the other one done after. Okay. Interesting. Always love it when they do that. So this means next time we do the seeding, we can actually plough this section up as well now. Maybe I should move it a little bit closer. Crazy lunatic. I don't know why it's doing this. I think it must just be because of the weight. Maybe if I only had the one in there it would be happier. I suppose we could always go sell the first one. But for the purposes of a screenshot, I'd really like it if I could have both of them full. I just don't know if that's going to be feasible. I was sure I seeded that, for goodness sake. Apparently not. Okay. Let's just go put this guy next to him. Okay. So, next trees, I think. Look at this. Look at it. And, and what, what am I supposed to do here? I can barely drive because of the bouncing. Okay. Is he settled? Not really. Settling. Yeah, so I think we're going to go to this pile of trees over here. There's many, many, many trees to work with. So what I'm going to do is, because I, like I said, I don't want to do time lapses. Time lapses in forestry, I find them incredibly horrible to watch. So I don't want to do it. Instead, I'm going to go and park up here in the middle. I'm going to chop down all the trees, put them next to the trailer like last time, and then we can get them all chopped up. And then we can go and sell what we've got. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes when we're ready. That's four trees. I think that's probably enough to get started with. Um, they were, three of them were absolutely enormous trees. So that has helped, obviously. And let's get chopping, let's see exactly how much we get. You can see from the size, the sort of diameter of some of these trees, exactly how big they are. And they're pretty monstrous. So, it should hopefully fill up that pallet with everything we've got here. One of them just said too big. I'll have to find out exactly which one that is. This one seems to be okay. And of course, standing on top of logs while you're cutting them is something they tend to do in uh, logging competitions to demonstrate how cool and how good they are. Not recommended for general life. Please don't do this at home. It's really not safe. 
And you'll also notice, by the way, I had to take that. I had to take it off the uh, the the full palette because it was just behaving ridiculously. I could not get it to stay still. It would not behave. I just gave up. I mean, not full yet. Okay. But we're not far off. Let's just keep going. Is that now full? Yes, that is full. Okay. So these ones will have to stay here. Let's just fasten him down. Interesting. He does the wobbling trick when I fasten him. So let's just drive carefully then over to the side point. Luckily it's not far away. Careful, careful, careful. And I'm afraid I am going to need to take a screenshot. So let's just get myself ready. How should we do this? How should we do this today? That'll do. You get a glimpse into my screenshot world. Right, so I don't really. That's how we set it. Wow, 4,769 in sold wood. That is pretty good money. I'm not going to lie. Um, we are definitely going to have to continue doing firewood another day. Because with that kind of money, cannot complain. The only thing is, I do really need something for the set of palatines woo -hoo -hoo, so that I can lift these up because I'm having to use super strength to lift I don't really like doing that oh I thought I was going to hit it and I did but I don't know how much he can take because he filled up quite a lot there I'll have to see if he'll take the whole pallet. I do not know. He did, he took everything. But is he now full? Do we do we have some way of finding out? Oh, he's got 6,000 out of 4,800. Okay, so we can't sell any more then. We're going to have to wait for that to sell off. But we can fill up another pallet. So I will go and get the pallets and start filling. I'll fill with what we've got on the floor first and then we'll maybe leave it for the next episode to get everything completely done. But I'll get this sorted and then come back and we can see. I have filled up another two and this area is looking much more open now. So we've got an area over there that we can extend into. We've got this area here which is, yeah, looking far, far better. And we've still got plenty more trees available in this section of land. Like I said, I think we'll also plant some more. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this guy over. Now, I don't know if he'll actually be accepted. It could be that he's accepted, um, even though he shouldn't be. I'm not sure. This is going to be a test, I suppose. Uh, so we know we should be getting about 4,700. If it doesn't take it, then we know why. Let's see. No, so we won't take it because he's overfilled. That's fine, because we can just park it by here. And let's go and have a look. So, we've got 5,958, and he can only take 4,800. So that's that's okay. We can we can deal with that. He'll be I guess he'll be empty sometime tomorrow, which means we can sell that one in the morning maybe, and then sell that one over there in the evening. 
For now, though, we have done pretty well, opened up a bit more land, and made ourselves a good bit of money for today as well. We're just, um, just going to fly up so we can see the area. So this bit here is now completely open. There's nothing stopping me from extending that. And over there, well, you can see many, many trees still remain. So we haven't actually done that much damage to the area. And we will plant more trees, I think. We'll put some more trees in um, around the edges of the field, probably, as like a windbreaker. Because it's a bit open at the moment. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.